Good evening and welcome. We are on the road in Uttar Pradesh tracking the latest in this election state, election bound state. Now you must be wondering, what are we actually doing there? Why did we zoom out of that thing right behind me? You all must have heard of that famous song, Jhumka Girare Bareli Ke Bazaar. So then, on the road, we decided to reach the Bareli Ke Bazaar and that's a gigantic Jhumka right behind me, which is a selfie point. In fact, all the pole officers and the CRPF Jawans found it quite fascinating. They were right here, clicking selfies at which, something which is undoubtedly the largest Jhumka I have ever seen. It weighs 200 kilograms and this is the hallmark or the big attraction the moment you enter the town of Bareilly. Our election radar coverage has covered 620 kilometers. We started this journey from Greater Noida, went to Aligarh, then Deoban, Saharanpur, Muzaffar Nagar, then we went to Swar, then we came to Rampur, and now we are in Bareilly. This journey will continue for one whole month till the 8th of March to get you all the twists and turns through the narrow lanes and by lanes of Uttar Pradesh. Of what the people are thinking and what the politicians want people to think. And speaking of the latest, the latter, what do the politicians want people to think and what are people thinking? In Western Uttar Pradesh, there was a very, very concerted effort, and let's say that without a doubt, a concerted effort to polarize the election. Jinnah, 80-20, and then on the eve of polling of the first phase, Yogi Adityanath saying, beware, if you make a wrong decision or take a wrong decision, UP could become Kerala, Bengal or Kashmir. Now this led to reactions from other states also. But within the state, this was latched on by the opposition. The point is, attempts are being made to play a game that helped political parties and dispensations reap political dividends in the past. But the question that we are asking on the big fight tonight, in Western UP and the divisive politics of Western UP, is this divisive politics actually a law of diminishing returns? That's the question that we want to ask on the big fight. Let's introduce all our guests in this broadcast. Senior journalist Ashutosh joins us. Sudhindra Bhardoria, leader of the BSP. Shant Prakash Jatav, leader of the BJP. Sujata Pandey supports the BJP, is a political analyst. Abhishek Sudhir is a Samajwadi Party supporter and Vibhakar Shastri, member of the Indian National Congress, political advisor to Priyanka Gandhi, is also the grandson of former Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri ji. He's a former AICC secretary also. Thank you very much. Important issue. Remember, only one phase of the two phases of Western UP have gone to polls. A divisive form of politics we saw in the first phase. The election campaigning is heating up. Tomorrow is the last day. In fact, Saturday is the last day of uh, election campaigning. What else will we hear? Let's start with the first punch. Ashutosh, I want to begin with you. Uh, each of you panelists get one minute time for your opening comments. So the first punch to Ashutosh. Do you think that divisive politics is a law of diminishing returns in Uttar Pradesh? And the reason we are saying this is because suddenly one notices a very concerted effort from the Samajwadi party to not engage or disengage along this front. Akhilesh Yadav chooses not to comment or say something else or stick with his issues. So do you think, Ashutosh, that this is a law of diminishing, diminishing returns or will it still help the BJP reap dividends? Uh, uh, Sanke, two things. Uh, first of all, how long you can use the same issue uh, and in how many elections? BJP has successfully used in 2014, used in 2017, used in 2019. So now we are sitting at, at a time when Ram Mandir construction is on. Article 370 has been repealed and partially the Uniform Civil Code uh, is, is in. 
if you take the example of uh, triple talaq now the issue is people if india is an aspirational country if it is a young country then obviously it needs employment it needs a certain kind of uh, a lifestyle it needs certain kind of per capita income if the delivery is is not as the people are expecting obviously there will be resentment so every time you come and talk about 80 20 every time you come out talk about uh, jalida topi and uh, uh, lungi and something like that kabristan and samshan how long people will take it today in okay. up if you if you look at okay. the per capita income is, is up stands on uh, up stand 32nd out of 36 uh, states other other union territories 32nd and okay. the per capita income is half of okay. the national I'm, average i'm i'm going to come back to you ashutosh ji your one minute time is up so we'll come back to you in just a short moment so that you can complete your uh, point sudindra bhadoria what do you think divisive politics law of dimin- diminishing returns well you see there are political interests behind pushing this agenda and this has been uh, since independence more particularly if you see when there was uh, bhartiya janasangh and uh, on one side and other political parties on the other side trying to uh, cherish the dreams of the freedom movement and the newly formed constitution but we have seen that this battle has been ongoing since those days this is nothing new and sometimes there is prominence to one agenda and sometimes there is of course people by and large in this country have a composite culture they have lived together from times in memorial so this is our rich tradition which we imbibe but however i must say all political parties have used it mulayam singh used to call himself mulla mulayam in order to get muslim votes and uh, so did the bjp try to push one agenda but the larger society in india has been of the view that we should follow the constitution and in letter and spirit and the constitution which has been enshrined and written documented by param pooja okay. baba sahab bhimram ambedkar sure. is the key to which the indian nation follows and i think the indian okay. freedom movement pushed this agenda sure okay shan prakash jatav your opening comments उत्तर प्रदेश पिछले पांच वर्षों में जिस प्रकार प्रगति की ओर बढ़ा उससे पहले बहुत हालत बदतर थी हम अगर पिछले पांच वर्ष में देखें तो हम आर्थिक स्तर पर सातवें नंबर पे थे आज हम पहले दूसरे नंबर पर पहुंच चुके हैं पंद्रह करोड़ लोगों को हम मुफ्त राशन दे रहे हैं तिरतालीस लाख मकान हमने पक्के बनवा दिए हैं और वो क्रम जो है लगातार बन रहा है चल रहा है दो दशमलव इकसठ लाख हमने टॉयलेट जो है वो शौच मुक्त उत्तर प्रदेश कर दिया है जो खुले में शौच करने का जो चलन था उससे हमने मुक्त कर दिया है इनफैक्ट अगर प्रगति हुई है तो लगातार प्रगति जो है उत्तर प्रदेश में हो रही है इंस्टीट्यूशन पढ़ाई एजुकेशन में भी हम लोग प्रगति कर रहे हैं हमने राजमार्ग पहले दो मुख्य राजमार्ग थे हमने पांच तीन राजमार्ग okay, और बना दिए हैं मिस्टर जाटव इज लिस्टिंग आउट ऑल द वर्क्स द डेवलपमेंट वर्क दैट इज हैपेंड इन उत्तर प्रदेश इट्स अ लिस्टिकल यूर परफेक्टली एंटाइटल्ड टू डू दिस बट इट इज ऑलवेज डॉटेड और आई वुड से कंप्लीटेड विद अ वेरी डिविसिव कॉमेंट हियर और देयर very ably put by the chief minister or the deputy chief minister or other stakeholders in uttar pradesh it is that point that we are talking about why does it always have to be development plus plus in uttar pradesh is that a template and that's why i'm saying is that template a law of diminishing returns abhishek sudhir your opening comments you sanket i just want to start off by saying mr akhilesh yadav He has a master's in civil environmental engineering from the University of Sydney. Mr. Jayan Choudhury has a MSc in accounting and finance from the London School of Economics. Mr. Gansham Tiwari, who has been on your program many a time, is a graduate of Harvard and Wharton. Abhishek Mishra, the candidate from Saroji Nagar in Lucknow, is again a graduate of MIT and the Sloan School, and is a graduate of Cambridge. Rupali Dixit, the Samajwadi Party's candidate from Fatehabad, 
has an MBA and an MA from the United Kingdom. The best and the brightest have worked in the Samajwadi Party manifesto. This is a new Samajwadi Party. Nahi hawa hai, nahi sapa hai. This Samajwadi Party wants to empower the youth. The SPRLD Alliance is the alliance of choice for the youth, irrespective of their race, religion, caste, or gender. The Samajwadi Party is focused on its agenda as you opened the show. It's Mr. Akhilesh Yadav who is setting the agenda for this election. Abba Jan, Asibis, Lungi, we have no time for this. We are the youth. We are the millennials. We are those who were born in the late 80s. We've grown up in the 90s. We want a new India. We are done with Mandal Kamandal. We are done with the Babri. We are done with Mandal. And we are done with this Masjid. We are done with this Shamshan No, Kabir. but then you may be done. That, you know, the question was very different. You may be done with Mandal Kamandal. Is the state of Uttar Pradesh done with it? Can the state ultimately snap out of, uh, uh, you know, caste-based politics or religious-based politics? This has actually been the gar, the epicenter of both these forms of politics. Well, so we will have you to be successful forward. in changing the paradigm? We, I, of course, Shadow we have will change the Of course, paradigm. we have to. But will the state move forward? Akhilesh will the Shadow state's will politics move forward? And will this old, old analog form of politics... Is this a law of diminishing returns? I, I only appeal to, uh, you know, your wisdom to be able to tell us whether the state is ready for something like this. Uh, Vivakar Shastri, your opening comments. Good evening, Sanket. Uh, Sanket, sorry. Good evening, Sanket. Uh, Honorable Prime Minister, for the last three days, has been discussing and talking about only the Congress party. Whether in the parliament or his interview with ANI, he only spoke about the Congress, Congress history, Congress uh, past, what the Congress has done, what the Congress has not done. So the message from these three uh, things is very clear that the biggest threat to the BJP is the Congress, number one. Number two, the agenda set by our honorable uh, leader and the Congress party, Pri Priyanka Gandhi ji, as far as Uttar Pradesh is concerned. It's a new narrative, which the narrative of woman empowerment, which have been picked up by all the parties, whether it's Samajwadi, whether it's BJP, whether it's BSP. If you look at their, uh, 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 their, their manifesto, which they've released in the past couple of days, they've all spoken about uh, woman empowerment. And let me tell you one thing, whether it's Kamandal, Mandal, whatever, but the women of Uttar Pradesh, want to get out of the shackles of male dominant society. They want to come out and express themselves freely. They want to vote to, of sure. the, to the candidates of the choice, the party of the choice. Sure, and, I mean, and see, there is, there I, is nothing I, holding I, back. Yeah, sure. I, I can understand there are two experiments happening in Uttar Pradesh right now. One is by the Samajwadi party, which does not want to, uh, quote unquote, fall into the trap of a very conventional form of uh, Hindu, Muslim, caste-based politics. Now, that's, that's uh, an effort. Similarly, the Congress party has decided to introduce a brand new paradigm in Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh is no stranger to the introduction of these new paradigms in politics. We have seen Brahmin Dalit uh, social engineering also, which worked for the BSP. So, ex political experiments have happened in the past and they have been successful. But is hate politics or divisive politics along caste lines, religious lines, a law of diminishing returns? That's the only simple question. Or is it something, or there is still some juice left in this brand of politics? Sujata Pandey, your opening comments. Yes. So since we are talking about division, let's talk about how the numbers are divided between the good governance and the anti-good governance. And this is what primarily Yogi Adityanath also meant when he spoke about this 80-20. In fact, he clarified, but then things were twisted. But, but just for the record, you know, let me just tell you how the numbers have gone have divided between the between the law and order and the lawlessness of the SP, SP regime. 80% less in Dakarty, 69% less in loot, 29% less in murder case, 35% less in kidnapping, 52% less in rape cases. Uh, UP number one in implementing the central government schemes. Impl uh, UP no longer a Bimaru Raj. UP no longer a appeasement hub of you know appeasement politics. And I am I am amazed Sanke, that today we are discussing and and so openly uh, you know deciding all by our own, not leaving it to the mandate of the people. The people that that who is doing divisive policy. The parties whose entire existence are based upon caste. 
religion and dividing it and sub dividing it and doing nothing about them are called are called inclusive and a bhartiya janata party which is about a majority and it is and it is it did what it spoke about in its in, in its you know goshna patra is called is called division how is that that law of diminishing return i see a uh, inclusive politics i see i see he spoke he's speaking about a up which will become a 3 trillion economy and no no nobody has akhilesh yadav spoken about what he will what he will do how will the economy the gdp has increased every on every parameters up is okay. leading so that is my take on on this 80 20 no, 80% uh, you know, for good governance when when you say on every parameter up is up is bettering not itself so jata pande when you say on every parameter not every yeah. parameter but most of it which was not on the key indices on the key on the key indices okay but the point is but the point is yesterday yesterday just ahead of elections just ahead of elections Yes. If development alone yes. was a very credit-worthy argument, yes. then why did the chief minister feel the need to introduce a new lexicon? In fact, not new; it's it's old. He's quite he's no stranger to using these terms. He said, "Make sure that you don't vote and make a mistake, lest Uttar Pradesh becomes like Kerala, Kashmir, or West Bengal." I asked this I, question. I will, no, before before you comment. Question. and before i take before one moment before you before you comment and before all our other panelists comment let's play out a response from akhilesh yadav when i asked him a question that what he thinks the chief minister was trying to do when he made that comment saying that we should make sure that up does not become kerala kashmir or west bengal here is what akhilesh yadav had to say aur niti aayog ko agar hum dekhe aur niti aayog ke aankde dekhe to uttar pradesh kahan khada hai भुखमरी में कहाँ है स्वास्थ्य के पैरामीटर्स में कहाँ हैं हम तो ये तमाम सवाल हैं जो बीजेपी के पास जवाब नहीं है इधर उधर की बात करना केरला से क्या तुलना करेंगे हमारे बाबा मुख्यमंत्री जी क्या केरला के बारे में जानते हैं तो केरला कम से कम कुछ पैरामीटर्स में देश में उदाहरण पेश करता है तो कम से कम बीजेपी को नीति आयोग का तो मानना चाहिए शांत प्रकाश जाटव आप कैसे जवाब देंगे भाई देखिए ऐसा है व्हेन यू से दैट कहीं उत्तर प्रदेश केरला ना बन जाए आई मीन यू लुक एट यू लुक एट पर कैपिटा इनकम यू लुक एट एजुकेशन लिटरेसी हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम जनरल वेलबींग दे आर वे अहेड ऑन ऑल दीज पैरामीटर्स व्हेन यू कंपेयर देम टू उत्तर प्रदेश तो ये कंपेरिजन क्या था क्या बात बताना चाह रहे थे आप हाँ मैं ये कहना चाहूंगा कि जैसे आपने अगर मुख्यमंत्री जी का योगी आदित्यनाथ जी का बयान सुना हो तो उन्होंने स्पष्ट कहा कि हमने जो डेवलपमेंट किया है इतना बेहतरीन जो बदतर स्थिति में था हम उसमें आगे बढ़ रहे हैं सुधार की ओर आज जो गुंडागर्दी करने वाले तत्व हैं गुंडा जो का यहाँ पे दंगाई जो है वो मिलकर के चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं अपोजिशन में भाई तो केरला तो केरला तो, तो विकास में और भी आगे खराब हो जाएंगे नीति आयोग रिपोर्ट सेज दैट केरला केरला इज अहेड ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश ऑन मेनी ऑफ दीज इंडिसीज तो वो कंपैरिजन क्या था उत्तर प्रदेश की स्थिति व्हाट वाज दैट उत्तर प्रदेश की स्थिति इसलिए खराब थी क्योंकि 2017 से पहले जो शासन था नो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द कंपैरिजन यहां पर दंगा चाहता था और वो स्थिति दोबारा ना पैदा हो ये जो तुलनात्मक बात की है उन्होंने उसके बारे में मैं बात कर रहा हूँ मैं वही बात केरल बंगाल और कश्मीर से जो तुलना की कि कहीं हम वैसे ना बन जाए केरल केरल बंगाल बंगाल का इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन यूपी से ज्यादा है देखिए केरल कश्मीर और ये पश्चिम बंगाल जो है ये धार्मिक उन्माद पैदा करने के लिए मशहूर है इन्होंने जो हालात पैदा किए किस तरीके से कश्मीर से हिंदुओं को आशुतोष आशुतोष आई वांट आई वांट टू कम टू आशुतोष आशुतोष इट्स वेरी क्लियर इट्स वेरी क्लियर आशुतोष इट इज वेरी क्लियर मिस्टर शांत प्रकाश जाटव्स कमेंट वन मोमेंट वन मोमेंट मिस्टर शांत प्रकाश जाटव्स कमेंट मेक्स इट वेरी क्लियर दैट दिस कंपेयर यस वन मोमेंट मिस्टर भदौरिया आई विल कम टू यू दिस कंपैरिजन दैट वाज मेड विद केरला दैट वी 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 शुड मेक श्योर वी डोंट बिकम केरला एंड बंगाल इट वाज अबाउट a uh, religious appeasement of the minorities correct as, as uh, mr jatav has just admitted now the point is in uttar pradesh should there be appeasement of none and the rule of law established or should there be 
an appeasement, no appeasement of an old paradigm, but appeasement of the majority now. If ideally, if you Sanket. want to project that see now appeasement of none, then it should be for none. Law should be the same for all. Is that Sanket. happening in UP? Sanket, uh, uh, unfortunately, what Yogi Adityanath has said, it goes against the basic tenets of the federalism of this country, the basic tenets of the federal, spe uh, federal spirit of the country. If one is chief, minister, uh, chief minister of a state, he is denigrating, insulting other state, how much, uh, how, how, how can this, uh, uh, this be good for the country? Are you trying to this? Is he trying to say that, that the Kerala, that the Kerala and uh, and Bengal is he not is he not uh, insulting the people of Bengal? Is he not insulting the people of Kerala? Is he not insulting the people of Jammu and Kashmir? What what what, what, what is he trying to say? I think I think I think Mr. Yogi Adityanath should be told by the, by the Honorable Prime Minister that whatever you have said is very very insulting to the state, the people of this country, people of these states, and this goes against the basic tenets of the federalism. Second point, Mr. Jato, Mr. Jato, I don't indulge in disturbing others, and I respect you. No, you are in the same. No, you are in the same. No, no, no. I don't disturb you. I don't disturb you. I don't disturb you. I don't disturb you. मैं इतनी सी बात कहता हूं कि अगर योगी आदित्यनाथ जी केरल पश्चिम बंगाल और जम्मू कश्मीर के लोगों का अपमान कर रहे हैं और यह भारत के संघवादी संविधान का खुला अपमान है वहां पर इसका मतलब यह है कि आप केरल के लोगों पर लोगों का अपमान किए संकेत आई थिंक यू शुड स्टॉप आई थिंक यू शुड बी स्टॉप आप आप बुजुर्ग हैं मैं आपसे सम्मान से जाता हूं अगर आप जाटो प्लीज सब करेंगे तो दिक्कत पैदा होगी मिस्टर जाटो मैं बात आई सम्मान भी यू करना चाहता हूं आप मुझे पहले भी टाइम आपको डिस्टर्ब नहीं किया आई एम गोना दूसरी बात जाटो जाटो जी मैं आपके पास जाटो जी मैं आपके पास वापस आऊंगा आप निश्चिंत रहिए यू विल गेट योर राइट टू रिप्लाई आशुतोष इफ यू मे वांट टू कंक्लूड नाउ दूसरी बात मैं कहना चाहता हूं आप केरल को केरल क्या है आज की तारीख में जो नीति आयोग की मल्टी डायमेंशनल इंडेक्स है उसमें नंबर 1 स्टेट है 0.71 और यूपी कहां पे है झारखंड बिहार और झारखंड के बाद नीचे से तीसरे नंबर पर है उसका इंडेक्स क्या है 37.71 ये है डेवलपमेंट उत्तर प्रदेश का पिछले दिनों और ये हमको भी तकलीफ देता है क्योंकि हम उत्तर प्रदेश से आते हैं तीसरी बात अभी नीति आयोग ने ही कहा था नीति आयोग की रिपोर्ट है कि स्वास्थ्य के मामले में उत्तर प्रदेश सबसे नीचे है बेंगलोर की एक संस्था है जिसने स्टेट गवर्नमेंट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के डेटा के आधार पर कहा है कि यूपी 18 राज्यों में 18वें नंबर पर है और आज की तारीख में उत्तर प्रदेश के ऊपर साढ़े छह लाख करोड़ का कर्जा है यूपी इज ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ बिंग बैंक जो पर कैपिटा इनकम है दैट इज हाफ ऑफ द हाफ ऑफ द नेशनल एवरेज 44,000 नेशनल एवरेज 96,000 रिलेटिवली बैकवर्ड स्टेट when you compare it to other states right but having said that the claim that it has become really good and you know it is it is on that fast road to progress how how correct is that claim and do you feel that that when these divisive uh, brand or divisive comments are made it is basically with the design that people don't end up talking about this aapki bahas bilingual chal rahi hai to main is baar हिंदी में बोलना आ, पसंद करूंगा मैं ये कहना चाहता हूं कि sure. आपकी बहस से ये लग रहा था कि यहाँ पर कुछ लोग जो विशेषकर विदेश से पढ़ के आते हैं वही लोग ज्यादा ज्ञानी हैं वही लोग ज्यादा जानकारी रखते हैं वही लोग केवल नए भारत को बनाना चाहते हैं मैंने तो अपने जीवन में देखा कि जो भारत में पढ़े लिखे लोग थे आचार्य नरेंद्र देव जैसे लोग उन्होंने भारत को एक नई परिभाषा दी और ये भी सही है कि बाहर से लोगों ने आके भी इस देश को बनाने का काम किया और मैं ये जानता हूँ जितने ये बड़े बाहर के पढ़े हुए लोग हैं मैं इनसे चाहता हूँ कि वो दो तीन इस प्रकार के पैराग्राफ लिखें जिससे नए भारत की तस्वीर बने और एक भारत के तमाम चाहे कवि हों चाहे वो साहित्यकार हों उनकी भी लेखनी देख लें 
पता चल जाएगा कौन ज्यादा गहरी समझ रखता है इस देश के बारे में पर मैं ये जरूर कहूँगा इस प्रदेश में पिछले पंद्रह वर्षो में तीन मुख्यमंत्री हुए हैं हमने दो हजार बारह से लेके सत्रह का भी दौर देखा है हमने देखा की एक मुख्यमंत्री जब मुजफ्फरनगर के दंगे हो रहे थे तो सफाई में महोत्सव मना रहे थे हमने ये भी देखा कि जो लोग पॉलिटिक्स करते हैं वो क्या कर रहे थे और सुश्री बहन मायावती जी जब मुख्यमंत्री थी उन्होंने ही यमुना एक्सप्रेसवे बनवाया उन्होंने ही मेट्रो की लीव रखी उन्होंने ही जेवर इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट के लिए प्रारूप रखा वो विदेश से पढ़ नहीं आई थी पर इस उत्तर प्रदेश में कानून व्यवस्था के मामले में सबका विकास और सबके सम्मान के मामले में सर्व समाज को आगे बढ़ाने के मामले में उनका अद्वितीय योगदान है ये चुनाव की राजनीति नहीं है okay, इसकी व्याख्या इतिहासकार जरूर करेंगे एक न एक समय में थी, और मैं थी, बता सकता हूँ दावे के साथ कह सकता हूँ कि बहन मायावती जी के समय में उत्तर प्रदेश का विकास दर नौ था मुलायम सिंह छोड़ के गए थे साढ़े तीन और अखिलेश यादव उतना कभी नहीं कर पाए और ना ही योगी आदित्यनाथ कर पाए हैं संकेत यू हैव टू अलाउ मी द राइट बट यू नो अगेन मिस्टर भदौरिया वन मोर बिफोर 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 यू रिप्लाई मिस्टर भदौरिया हियर इज माय क्वेश्चन टू यू इफ देयर वाज सो मच विकास एंड शी चेंज द फेस ऑफ यूपी सो मच डू यू थिंक दैट डूइंग वेल फॉर उत्तर प्रदेश पॉलिटिकली एंड फॉर द वेलबींग ऑफ द स्टेट इकोनॉमिकली एंड देन गोइंग अहेड and convincing people that you have done well and then winning elections are two totally different things which is why the bjp talks about vikas and at the same time main, and at main, the same main, time main, main, a, a divisive main, brand of politics also dekhiye nisandeh aapko malum hai pichle uh, 2014 se kaun si sarkarein jeetti rahi hain to kya hum ye maan le ki desh ko sahi disha mein le jaya ja raha hai agar wo jeette rahe hain 2014 में जीते और 19 में उसके बाद भी बड़ी बहुमत से जीते तो का क्या हम ये मान लें उपाध्याय जी के देश को सही दिशा में ले जाया जा रहा है देखिए जीत हार अलग होती है पर जीत हार के अलग कारण भी होते हैं इस देश के अंदर आंध्र प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री उन्होंने हैदराबाद और आंध्र प्रदेश को एक नया प्रदेश बना दिया था पर फिर भी जब चुनाव हुआ वो हार गए नायडू साहब तो ये हार जीत नो बट यू नो मिस्टर भदौरिया द आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट यू आर मेकिंग द आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट यू आर मेकिंग इन द पास्ट हैज आल्सो बीन मेड एंड आई हैव सीन व्हाट बी द बीजेपी ट्राइज टू से इज दैट यू नो यू आर नॉट रिस्पेक्टिंग द पीपल्स मैंडेट दे वेंट टू द पीपल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ व्हाट दे डिड एंड दे वर चोजन बैक एंड दे केम बैक टू पावर मैं तो ये कह मैं आई रिस्पेक्ट द मैंडेट ही इज आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर वी रिस्पेक्ट हिम हु इज सेइंग दैट वी डोंट रिस्पेक्ट हिम इन फैक्ट बट आई एम ओनली मेकिंग दैट You can't okay. draw any conclusion. Can I, can I just okay. Conclusion very, from the very, very okay, fine. I, I, okay, fine. Kya agar Trump jeet ke aayenge to sahi ho jayenge? Abhishek Sudhir now. You. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Abhishek Sudhir now. Uh, your right to reply to a comment Mr. Baduria made on foreign education that Jee. cannot be a credential to be a good leader. He says. Jee. Yeah, I mean, uh, Dr. Bhimra Wangbedkar was a PhD from Columbia. He was a barrister at law from Grayson in London. That's also the in of court. I am from a barrister. No, which is why I said that the political force. I know you think that. Mere hi kaha ki keval wahi hote hain. Of this country. No, no. I mean, if if you are also your attack. Naam ginae. Are you attacking Dr. Ambedkar? Sir, I did not interrupt you. 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 Sir, I संकेत जी मैं दक्षिण भारत से हूँ मैं दक्षिण भारत से हूँ मैंने हिंदी सीख के लखनऊ में आके इंडी टीवी इंडिया पे भी मैं डिबेट करता हूँ बहस करता हूँ संकेत जी के साथ चार बजे सवाल इंडिया संकेत जी भदौरिया जी क्या कहना चाहते हैं समाजवादी पार्टी 
I am presenting the new face of the Samajwadi Party. It does not suit their agenda because, oh, we are the party of Gundagardi, we are the party of Dangai. But then when I am saying that educated people, people who want to see a change... But is that, is that not a perception battle that you are fighting? One yes, moment, we are one fighting moment. word on the ground. Is that yes. not a perception battle that the Samajwadi point? Party has been fighting? We are definitely fighting a perception battle. Unfortunately, as a liberal, as a South Aap Indian liberal, the Congress party have a has let me down. The Congress party has let me down. So I am looking at Mr. Akhilesh Yadav for leadership. He is the one who is speaking the language of development. That is the perception we are fighting. Absolutely, you are right. But there are educated people in the what Samajwadi are you party. Talking, Mr. We want to see Uttar Pradesh develop. We want to Please. see Uttar Pradesh Vibhakar prosper. Vibhakar Shastri now. But Just we by are naming not few. all Vibhakar Shastri. No, 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 no. I, I will like to come in. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you, Sanket. I like to come in. Mr. Sudhir is talking absolute rubbish. You know, just by naming few leaders who've gone, who've been educated abroad, maybe some, uh, you know, third year universities in Australia I would urge you to use some more Australia charitable wherever, language. That doesn't mean... I, I would you urge you to use some charitable no, I'm, I'm language. I'm absolutely sorry. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely, no, I'm absolutely sorry and appalled. I I'm, I'm appalled. To use I'm absolutely like appalled. I don't think it no, no, I'm absolute, to use words I'm like I'm absolutely appalled, appalled. Mr. Sudhir, let me speak. Let me speak. I apologize if, you, if, you, if you're hurt. I apologize for that. But let me speak. By naming few pe leaders who have gone abroad, who had the opportunity of studying abroad, that doesn't mean that the Congress party is letting it down. Congress party also has enough, enough talent. Where enough, are you, sir, uh, in Uttar Pradesh? Youth. And let me Where tell you, you, who is talking? Where is your organization is in Uttar Pradesh? No, no, one minute, Sanket. Who... Who, who, is it Sanket or is it uh, Sudhir? Who who speak? It's now Sudhir. let me, let me come, please, please carry Sudhir. on. Be, be more. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry. as far as as far as Uttar Pradesh is concerned, who is talking the language of opposition? Is the Congress Party? Is the Congress leadership? Who is talking about un, 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 unemployment of youth? Priyanka Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi. Who is talking about Mangai? Priyanka Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi. Who is talking about Tenny's son? If who's, who Where's went to Lakhimpur? Where was uh, Akhilesh Yadav when... Does uh, the voter comprehend? I think so. I think so. Let us... This, this I think... The, the, you know, you'll be surprised on the 10th. Let, and I'll be debating... If, if you, if you, if you give, in, give me an opportunity, I'll be debating with you on the 10th. And you will see the results uh, where the Congress party... I think we will definitely sure. be very, very influential player in, in, in the coming time in, 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 uh, in, the, in these elections. So let me no. So very, okay. So Jata you know, Pandey. Now let me let me. Jata Ji ne bola. Let let me quickly come back to the. We have, we have somehow deviated to foreign education and all those things, but let me quickly come back to the core issue that we are debating today. And so Jata Pandey, I want to bring you in now. Do you feel that divisive politics or a divisive brand, division along caste lines, division around along religious lines? is a law of diminishing returns, according to you, in Indian politics, in Uttar Pradesh politics? Or as I no. said, is there still some juice left because of which the BJP thinks that it's okay to exploit this? So, uh, Let's first talk of all, about it a little yeah. bit more. Yes. So, you know, you, 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 know, Kerala. Huh, you know, Sanket, we, we, me and you both come from Uttar Pradesh. We know Anything will be made a political issue if people will pay importance to it. Okay, job is important, religion is important to people, and there is no moving away from the fact I don't want to be so politically correct about it. Okay, it is not just in Uttar Pradesh, it is in Bihar, it is in MP, it is it is even in you know, if you go abroad, you have you know, there are divisions. They, they are not called by the caste, by the name of the caste or jati or, or the religion or whatever, but there is a division because that's how people vote, okay? And like I said in the very first place that the way I see BJP is, is not division policy, politics based upon the religion. You know, the, it, you are interpreting or the others are free to interpret in their own ways that how, however they want it, that is up to them. But in the same interview, and I'm repeating it, in the same interview, he has clarified every bit of it that how this 80% is for the people who are for pro, who are pro. No, Sujata Pandey, one it's moment. You know, we can we can kid ourselves, ourselves and we can continue to justify. I hate it. Please no, Miss Pandey, Miss Pandey, because you know, you're trying to explain to me the, the logic behind 80-20. Or the logic behind seconds. Kerala. Uh, Kerala. The, the logic oh, yes. very oh, yes. much oh, yes. is my, that. My favorite topic, just, just, just 
COVID death in Kerala with a population of 3.5 CR was 60,793. COVID death in UP with 20 crore. No, sorry, I, I, oh, I, I wish I had someone no. from the CPM yeah, okay. or the Please, Kerala government to, to respond to, to this so that we get a we get a right to reply. <laughs> I think we are, I think we are moving state, off track, Sanket. And then unemployment the debate rate is just lost. Kerala, or please, UP is 4.2. Please go and check. Okay, please, Sujata Pandey. Sujata Pandey. Sujata Pandey. Miss Pandey. No, no, Mr. Jatav, right here no. on this show. Miss Pandey. Mr. Jatav, right here on this show. Mr. Jatav, I want to come back to you. Mr. Jatav, right on this show, you mentioned ki wahan par dharmik roop se tushti karan ho raha hai. That means there is appeasement of a minority community in Kerala and that is what the CM was mentioning. So it is very clear that you are Hindu-Muslim angle in this election. Mein. But you know the larger point is in Ashutosh, before I come to Mr. Jatav, Ashutosh, let me ask you this question. We may say or feel that look the BJP is trying to do this or do that and politics has moved beyond all these things, real issues matter, but do they? I mean, wouldn't this, this is a huge election winning machine called the Bharatiya Janata Party. If there was a shift in paradigm, do you think they will sit and follow the same rhetoric and not change course? <coughs> or are they missing San Sanket, if any political the trend party completely? Any, poli any political party or any political leader in this country from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Assam to Gujarat is saying that he or she is not... Uh, 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 is not using religion or the caste or the language. I think he or she is completely lying. Every every detail, ah, correct. Uh, every every politics is around caste. Every politics is around religion. So let's be let's yeah. let's be honest to ourselves. Be, the people of the country are not fools. When you are talking about Kerala, is is about about the Muslim appeasement. We have forgotten what happened in Haridwar. What has happened in Raipur? The, those so-called Dharm Sansat. It is, there is a difference between the Muslim appeasement and there is a difference between the hatred towards Muslims. I think people, people who have a little bit of shame, they should have condemned what happened and what was propagated in Haridwar Dharam Sansat. But not a word of shame on that. Not a word of condemnation on that. The, the Prime Minister to the, to the BJP top leaders, nobody spoke against him. And when they spoke, it's almost, uh, almost a month. So why they were silent on that? So, the, so let's not be hypocritical. If, if appeasement of Muslim is bad, then hatred towards Muslims is, is worse. And those who are doing it, the history will do justice to them. Correct. Tell me, give an answer, Jatav Ji. If the Tushti Karan is bad, then is, 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 is uh, persecution correct? I mean, open Dekhe. calls to kill Muslims. Sankhet Ji. A call to Sankhet arms. Ji. In fact, Mr. Jatav, I remember many of our debates where initially you started by justifying those comments and then later you Sanket said the law will take its own course. Sanket Ji, we have to keep our attention to that thing in Uttar Pradesh, the work of the bridge in 2017, the work of the bridge in 2017, the work of the bridge in 24 घंटे करंट तोड़ रहा है और वो करंट जो है उन सब लोगों को लग रहा है जो धार्मिक आधार पर उन्माद पैदा करने के प्रयास करते थे आज वो करंट उनको लग रहा है 24 घंटे करंट लग रहा है कोई भगवा कपड़े पहन करके किसी की निजे किसी के ऊपर टिप्पणी करता है या कुछ गलत बोलता है तो वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी या संघ विचारधारा का व्यक्ति नहीं है वो उन्मादी है उसको किसी सूरत में स्वीकार नहीं किया जाएगा आज जो करंट है उन सब लोगों को लग रहा है जो धार्मिक उन्माद और जातीय उत्पीड़न यहां पर देश के अंदर वो उत्तर प्रदेश के अंदर करना चाहते थे आज वो सब लोग परेशान हैं किसी भी सूरत में 
फिर दोबारा सब लोग परेशान है अनिशोर जाटव जी जाटव जी जाटव जी जनता क्या सिर्फ एक सेकंड एक सेकंड एक सेकंड एक सेकंड आप कह रहे हैं धार्मिक जाटव जी मेरी बात सुन लीजिए मेरी बात सुन आपका ये कहना है कि धार्मिक उन्माद फैलाने वाले पीपल हु यूज टू स्प्रेड रिलीजियस के इन द स्टेट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश और रनिंग फॉर कवर इज दिस एक्चुअली ट्रू और हैव यू फिक्सड अ पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन और अ पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ पीपल ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर रिलीजन बिल्कुल कहा है वेर इज द लॉ सेम फॉर ऑल बिकॉज दो धर्म वो ऐसी ऐसी धर्म संसद जो है वो उत्तर प्रदेश में भी हुई है इनफैक्ट वी हैड नो कॉमेंट्स बिल्कुल बाय द वे और दैट यति नरसिंहानंद He 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 has his has his ashram. ashram in which is in Uttar Pradesh. Do do you know you know what what the 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 poster, poster 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 Mr. reads? What does the poster read outside the temple of the temple of Yati Narsinghanand? Muslims are not allowed. किसी भी शख्स के द्वारा धार्मिक उन्माद पैदा करना स्वीकार नहीं किया जाएगा वो किसी भी सूरत में चाहे कोई भी हो and yet the allegations of providing patronage aapas mein i am saying that you want to you want to end uttar pradesh ke dharmik unmad end it for all religions that is not happen panch varsh ka shasan raha hai sanket jinhone bhi sharanat ki hai unko uska dhand bhugatna bhi pada hai yeah sanket sanket yeah okay quickly quickly two comments on the two aap tarike ka bayan diya uske baad uttarakhand ki bharatiya janata party ki sarkar ne unke khilaf koi karwai nahi ki कायदे से इस आदमी को गिरफ्तार करके कम से कम तीन चार साल के लिए जेल के अंदर डालना चाहिए तो जो, जो खुले आम मुसलमानों के नरसंहार की बात कर रहा था और वहां तब काम किया गया जब सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने इंटरव्यू किया होता भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार कोई कार्रवाई नहीं कर रही आपके चैनल पर आके ये लोग झूठ बोलते हैं वो जेल में गए जिन्होंने जेल में सुप्रीम कोर्ट के सुप्रीम कोर्ट नेशनल सुप्रीम कोर्ट के इंटरवेंशन के बाद सुप्रीम कोर्ट नहीं है बहुत के बाद आपकी बहुत सरकार नेता है हमारे बहुत ने आपको बहुत समय से देख रहा हूँ परिचित है देश के प्रधानमंत्री ने देश के प्रधानमंत्री ने एक शब्द नहीं बोला अरे जिसको करना था उसने कर दिया शासन ने करना था प्रधानमंत्री का सक्षम नहीं होता है समर्थन दिया उसको यह शर्मनाक है अरे आप जो कुछ यहाँ पे बोल देंगे वो स्वीकार नहीं किया जाएगा जिसको उसके खिलाफ एक्शन लेना था लिया और जिसको गलत बोला वो जेल में है सुप्रीम कोर्ट का डंडा चला उसके बाद एक्शन लिया आप लोगों ने सुप्रीम कोर्ट का डंडा चला और होता क्या उत्तर प्रदेश के अंदर संस्थान है महामारी चल रही सरकार के जेल में बाहर से नहीं आया कोई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वो भारत का ही संस्थान है सुप्रीम कोर्ट भी उसका सम्मान करना होगा तो आपकी सरकार क्या कर रही थी नो नो दिस इज दिस इज नॉट अ आर्गुमेंट दिस कैन नॉट बी अ जस्ट आर्गुमेंट इफ इफ एक्शन इज एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट जिसने गलत किया देन एक्शंस कैन नॉट ऑलवेज कम फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट फिर सरकार हटा देते हैं एवरी डिसीजन कैन बी टेकन बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट ओनली सो दिस दिस आर्गुमेंट डज नॉट वर्क मिस्टर शास्त्री ये भी सरकार आई वांट यू टू कम इन प्लीज मिस्टर शास्त्री सरकार का ही संस्थान है सुप्रीम कोर्ट भी कोई सरकार का संस्थान नहीं गलतफहमी में मत रहिएगा नहीं 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 सरकार व्हाट यू सेइंग मिस्टर जाटव सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज नॉट गवर्नमेंट ऐसे बात कर रहे जाटव जी आप दिस दिस एलिगेशन एलिगेशन सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज नॉट गवर्नमेंट उसके खिलाफ गवर्नमेंट इज अ डिफरेंट पिलर बात कर रहे हैं जाटव जी जाटव जी आप थोड़ा सा सुप्रीम कोर्ट को देख लीजिए ये आप क्या बोल गए बिल्कुल बिल्कुल जो भी है वो सही हुआ है और जिसने गलत किया है वो अरेस्ट किया गया Very dangerous comment that you have made, Mr. Jatav. There are allegations made, that, yes. the, that the government tries to exert influence on the Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court is Supreme not the government. Supreme Court is a certain yes. institution, yes. a different arm. But it is a certain, it is a certain institution. And after that, what is the case? After या उसके पहले विभाकर शास्त्री जो भी है शासन माय रिक्वेस्ट इफ वी कुड स्पीक इन इंग्लिश जाटव जी या 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 जाटव जी आई एम एब्सोल्युटली स्टोनिस्ट एंड अपॉल आपने आज जो आपने आज जो द पॉइंट्स यू मेड इन डिफेंस ऑफ योर गवर्नमेंट मीन इतने आप बीइंग सच अ सीनियर पर्सन आप इस तरीके से बोल रहे हैं आई मीन बहुत आई एम एब्सोल्युटली स्टोनिस्ट Number one, judiciary is not controlled by the government of India, 
and what you are saying right now that is controlled by the government this is what the opposite this is what our leader rahul gandhi has been talking about that even the judiciary is controlled by the prime minister this is what we are talking we want we want freedom we want democracy which has not been given so you prove what mr rahul gandhi is saying is absolutely correct number 1 number 2 politics of appeasement or politics of divisions and division was started by you not by anyone else and all these regional parties whether it is sapa or baspa or bjp they only do politics of division whether on caste lines whether on on, on religious division lines, politics except for the congress party hai. except or kitna misuse kiya hai except for the congress party which believes which believes in sabka saath हाथ कांग्रेस का हाथ सबके साथ भोपाल गैस त्रासदी में जो ओके अभिषेक एंड सुजाता क्विक क्लोजिंग कमेंट्स प्लीज अभिषेक सुधीर एंड सुजाता मांडे वोट कर रहे हैं या सही क्लोजिंग कमेंट्स प्लीज लॉ एंड ऑर्डर का तो वन मिनट ही है दुरुपयोग किया वो आप अच्छी तरह जानते हैं अभिषेक सुधीर एंड सुजाता पांडे हम लोगों ने आई एम जस्ट चौरासी के दंडों में फर्स्ट फर्स्ट तो सुधीर फर्स्ट तो सुधीर seconds of 1 minute of uninterrupted Abhishek time Abhishek Sudhir yeah i just want to say sanket for far too long yeah. for the last 8 years we as liberals are falling into the trap that the bjp is setting for us be it the dharam sansad in haridwar be it the issue in karnataka with the religious dress what is the samajwadi party said we are not engaging what does rahul gandhi what do the congress do sanket the bjp sets the agenda they fall into that trap the congress rahul gandhi talks of karnataka and tamil nadu and says we are not a nation Rahul Gandhi says we are not a nation. No Indian a congressman is saying India is not a nation. Who? I mean, this is the Who? problem, Sanket. Please don't Mr. interrupt, Sudhir. sir. I'm, I'm. Please. Let me just make my But point. But you know, Abhishek no, no, Sudhir, there is a, please. there is a, there is a counter argument you know, also. There yeah, is a counter. Sanket, you yeah. don't want to fall into their trap. At the yes. same time, yes. If there is, there is something important that is happening in this country, you yes. will appear as if you don't care about no. that. Country, yes. About But can that I subject. just say? Sanket, this now, is now you again, tell me as, as an important opposition party in the country. Abhi do not expect only... any comment from the Samajwadi Party on the hijab row. Why Sanket, should where we keep quiet? Akhilesh Yadav today. He was in question. Rampur. Who was he campaigning with today? He was campaigning with Azam Khan's son. Mr. Akhilesh Yadav has always spoken up for the minority community, but he says I will not fall into the trap the BJP sets. You want to talk about the Haridwar Sansad? You talk about the hijab issue. You are only emboldening and strengthening the Bharatiya Janata Party because you are creating a sense that the Hindus are under attack. This is the binary okay. that they. Are. We are done with this BJP Congress binary. Okay, Mamta okay, Didi, okay, Adhilesh okay. Sahaja. Before I give Mr. Mr. Shastri a right Mr. to reply, Mr. Sujata Pandey. Mr. Shastri, I'll give you a right to reply, Sujata Pandey, please. Yeah, I am amazed and appalled by you. by Thank the you. lies those which has been spoken on the national television today. Ashutosh ji mentioned that none of the son, the none of the people who who gave fiery speeches and let's say against certain certain community, were, uh, nothing was done. They were all they are all inside the jail. Number one, uh, why do we only talk about one sided things, uh, Sanket? When we talk about Dharam Sansad, why do we not talk about Sartan Sa Juda Juda Gang? Why do we not talk about the, the the Hindu genocide calls by different parties? I mean, I think when we we really want to get away with these divisive politics, if at all there is by by any any political party and for use for their political gains, we have to now start calling spade by spade. We cannot be picking and choosing sides when it suits us. That's point number one. And it is it is time that on the national television we don't side away. Yeah, I mean people, people will expect the same from the UP chief minister as well. Of course, and that is why that we should not engage in divisive politics. Have we told you or NDTV or any other channel that this is about the Hindus and the Muslims? He has clarified in the next very sentence. But it is about the liberal privilege that you pick up and choose and twist and turn and make it make it your own rasgulla. You need to. The comment so, on Kerala, Kashmir, and Bengal I, was loaded with with a meaning. It was loaded it with the meaning. It is up. Yes. Adam has spelled it out. I just explained you that this was about minority the... appeasement. Yes. Well, the, okay. Then, then... Quick, quick, quick. I last like comment, Mr. The... Shastri. Mr. I Shastri I like the spirit of uh, right Sujata uh, Pandey ji. Very. Yeah, I like the spirit of Sujata Pandey ji. Very vociferous in support of BJP, but no, no, no substance in her support. let me tell you very categorically sujata ji bjp is the party which believes only in divide and rule 
there the chief minister the honorable chief minister yogi ji said 8020 honorable chief minister yogi ji said okay. op honorable yogi yogi ji said Ke kerala uh, south indian people are, are much better what what is what is what is okay i have i have completely run out of time what is what is what is what is rahul gandhi saying like that you know you talk thank thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for joining us you know there are six more phases left and in these six phases will we see more of these comments along religious lines getting shriller and sharper or will the bjp realize or other political parties also realize that this doesn't work and it is a law of diminishing returns is it or is there still some juice left before we end this broadcast let's quickly get you some questions on the ku app navdeep writes why up's alarm bells for india's divisive politics akshit ahuja says they divided the country and now trying to divide the society on caste community and religious lines well that's a wrap in this edition of the big fight we'll be on the road getting you more such editions over the next few weeks good night and goodbye